Greetings, this is Uncle Travelling Matt and welcome to my latest video. It's only a short one, but this is the first in the series that I'm going to do where I review any book of travel literature that I've read. And today I'm going to be reviewing this book, Country Driving, uh, A Chinese Road Trip by Peter Hessler. I picked this up, uh, I think it was in 2015 14 before I went to um, the DPRK in China and the, the library was selling it off and I thought oh yeah a travel book on China that'd be quite interesting there's been remarkably few decent travel books that I've uh, read on China um, so I thought this one might be might be good um, but I didn't read it until about a month or two ago and I have to say that this book totally blew me away it is one of the best uh, works of travel literature that I've ever read. Um, the only thing I can say though is it, it's not exactly travel literature. The first section, and it's in uh, three bits, so book one is called The Wall, is very much a travel book. And what it is, this guy Peter Hessler, he's an American journalist um, who lives in Beijing, he, he takes a, a rental car and he basically drives along the, the route of the Great Wall of China. And he uses all his journalistic skills um, to, uh, to bring that to life. And it really is fascinating. Um, and but that was probably the weakest part of the book. Now, the second part, book two, The Village, talks about when he uh, bought a, a weekend house in a village... Um, about 50 odd miles out of Beijing and about life in the village and how Chinese village life is really changing at the moment and he keeps talking about a, a little lad and uh, I'm just wondering if I can find the lad's name but um, uh, yes uh, I think it's Wei Ziki I think no, Wei Jia, Wei Jia. Yeah, and I think that little lad is Wei Jia. And he's a little boy from the village. He's very much a village kid. And then he goes to school in the city and becomes um, very much, you know, part of the Chinese middle class. And it's a real, it really captures this, this spirit of change that's going through in China at the moment. As does the third bit, the book three, The Factory, uh, which is when he goes down into southern central China, into an area that's a, a development zone, and he follows the course of a factory that makes bra fittings being set up, uh, and he you know, gets in all the workers and the owners until it, it actually moves um, about a year or so later somewhere else. Uh, and again, it just captures something. And, I, I love this book. I cannot recommend this book highly enough um, because books that are good on China are rare to find and books that really teach me something are much rarer. And I think that the problem is if you go to China, it's too big to get your head around. It, it's massive. It's a whole continent, not a country. And even though, you know, I've been a few times and I've travelled quite extensively in China, I can't say I know it. I always feel like I'm just scraping the tip of the iceberg. And what he does is by taking three scenarios, and particularly in the last two, he, you know, that are quite typical. So one's a development zone and the other's a village. He, he kind of encapsulates uh, Chinese society in a way that you can get your head around. Um, and so, you know, if I went to China now, I would be probably thinking, oh, I want to go to a development zone to, to look at factories like that. Or, you know, I want to pop into a village and then I, I'd understand a lot more what I see. So please, please buy this book if you can or, or just borrow it from somewhere. Peter Hessler, Country Driving, Chinese Road Trip. I am going to give this, because I never give anything a 10, I will give this a 9. Keep travelling.